Belmont University's documentary, Exit 207, The Soul of Nashville, won the student short film category at the Nashville Film Festival. We spoke to the director and the faculty advisor about their experiences taking home the award. So to be recognized by the Nashville Film Festival and the International Black Film Festival and being selected, I mean, it means the world to me. It just, it gives me satisfaction in that people believe in me and my work, uh, but also that, you know, the topic, it's, it's important. I couldn't be here without that crew without those researchers, without the professors. It is a culmination of so many degrees, of so many classes, of all the professors who've taught students across campus to really lean into storytelling and documentaries and our community. The students from various programs, including journalism, video production, and honors, found a compelling story in North Nashville and the impact that an interstate had on a predominantly African-American neighborhood. When we knew we wanted to do something in social justice, we really focused on Jefferson Street specifically. But gathering interviews and collecting data and stuff, it wasn't until we interviewed Lorenzo Washington that we really decided like this was our story here. It's a lot of the music history, the culture, everything that's happened in North Nashville since the interstate came through Interstate 40. One focal point in the documentary is the effects of gentrification in that neighborhood, as well as the city as a whole. During an abbreviated public screening of Exit 207 on September 26th, we had the chance to talk to Nashville's mayor, Freddie O'Connell, about the local government's role in city planning. So much of the gentrification happens without any interaction with city government. If somebody were to buy my house, for instance, they could immediately go put a couple of tall and skinnies on it. They wouldn't have to do anything but go get a building permit. We can do really great projects so that we can at least ensure we're creating some long-term affordable housing too, which is much needed in parts of the community. We also need to keep engaging the uh, black business community and continue to perpetuate opportunities there. I think you need to attack it not just from the creation of new housing and retention of existing housing where you can, but also scenarios like this where you've got a group of black vendors that can then eventually grow into successful bricks and mortar establishments along corridors like Jefferson Street. It's important to, to bring these stories to light and to kind of reflect on the past, because if you don't look back, you can't look forward in the future. After this win, the documentary will be entered in a variety of other film festivals across the country. For VNN, I'm Matt Sanofsky. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.